Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all how I did this perm rot set on my medium length hair. As you all can see, I am starting off with freshly washed hair and believe it or not you all, I have to deep condition and rinse the deep conditioner out these days with twists in my hair because if not, my hair will get super tangly. As my styler, I will be using the Dew. This is the best foam and lotion hands down that I have ever used and these perm rods. I found these perm rods at my local beauty supply store and I felt like they were the best size for the length of my hair. Of course, if you all have been to the beauty supply store before, they have several, several different colors and different sizes. So I say choose the best size that you think will work well with your density, length, and texture of your hair. So of course, I'm using a lot of this foam or mousse I call them both interchangeably but I am just making sure that I rate that through my hair I am going to go in with a combs just to make sure that my hair is thoroughly detangled so when you're getting ready to rot your hair you want to start at the very end and you want to make sure that you are holding your hair tautly and smoothing the hair as you roll it up and then we're going to do a few little twisties just to make sure that we create those spirals with the perm rod. And as you all can see here, the black string on the perm rod needs to be on the side with your hair that's closest to your scalp. This is how you make sure that the perm rod stays in place and that it doesn't move anywhere. Okay, so if you didn't get it, let's go ahead on to the next piece. Do not forget your foam lotion and thoroughly detangle. The smoother your hair is on the perm rod, the better the curl is going to come out in the end. You will see me rotting my hair in different directions and that is because I only do what is more comfortable to my hands and I slowed down this for you all so that you all can see my hand motions for how I create those spirals within my hair. And holding my hair at the base before I create those spirals does give me a little bit more control over my hair. It has been a while since I have done a lot of perm rot sets on my hair. So doing this for a beginner, it really, really helps for me to make sure that I still stay in control of the perm rot and my hair. It only took me about 45 minutes to rot my hair. However, you all, it is time for me to sit up under the dryer. And that is what I like to do, especially when I do these rot sets, because I feel like I have more of a sleeker finish when I sit up under the dryer. So I sat up under the dryer for about an hour and a half, and I did go to sleep with these rots in. So it wasn't the most comfortable sleep, but the curls were definitely worth it. So right here, as you all can see, I am just carefully taking the perm rods down and I'm making sure that I take out the rods in the way that the curl is going, if that makes sense. Meaning that I'm not just snatching the rollers out, but I'm actually twisting my hand to make sure that I am reinforcing each spiral. You all saw this in my last video but I am using Tamar Braxton's Grow and Glow and I like to put this on my scalp because like I said in my last video all of the stylists used to do this on my hair whenever I would get doobie wraps and it made my scalp feel really good so of course that's why I am doing it here and I am going to use this Talia Wahid um, shine mix and this actually gives my hair a little bit of shine and it takes away from some of that dullness that I have gotten in the past when doing perm rod sets or roller sets 
And one thing I like about using the foam mousse, you all, is that when it is time to separate, you do not have to separate your hair where it naturally wants to separate. You can pull these curls apart and reinforce them by twisting your hand, just like I am doing here, and you are going to be good to go. So this part is really, really stress-free because you're going to get minimum frizz just because of using the dew, mousse, and foam and lotion, which is why already I can tell you all that this is one of my 22 favorite products. As you all can see, the curls are very much to my head, but they are super defined. So what I am going to do is take the end of this cone to basically pick my roots. And what I want you all to pay attention to is the fact that I am holding those curls in place before lifting my roots because I don't want to disturb any of those curls by creating volume for my hair. And I do this all over my hair and so I am at a satisfied first day volume and length of my hair because this style has to last me all week or very close to a week. So I don't want to disturb those curls and have to redo my hair throughout the week. And here are my day one results, you all. I was super satisfied with this. And honestly, these rod sets and sponge roller sets have really been making me look exactly like my grandmother lately, which is so crazy to me. But I really, really love this hairstyle. But stay tuned. I am going to show you all how I preserve the curls throughout the week with my nighttime routine. Be mindful that when I did wear this hairstyle on the first day, you all, I was very disobedient and wanted to go outside with the humid air and the rain. So I was very surprised at how these curls held up with me even going outside without covering my head in the rain so of course I use the ponytail method this helps me stretch my hair and it also keeps my hair from getting tangled throughout the week And with a little bit of a fluff, you have your hairstyle that can last all week. And I really, really love the ponytail method, you all, because it really, really gets me through. Pineapples do not work for my hair, but the ponytails definitely do. And all it takes is a little shake, and we are ready to go. As always, I really, really hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. See ya!